So what we're going to start with, again, is first just stance, all right, just how to position yourself. So first question, are you right-handed, left-handed? Right. Right, okay, that makes it easy. So you're going to stand with your dominant leg back, okay, boom, right here. So there's a little cant to our body where we're pointing, maybe like a 45-degree angle, all right. Our legs are staggered, rear leg back. Lead leg's pointing slight angle. The rear leg is pointed even bit more of an angle. So still forward, move that there. So like if you see my toes here, essentially like the big toe lines up with the heel, right? And it's always gonna be a little different for everybody and your knees slightly bent. Hands are up and we're, what we're looking to guard with our hands, cheekbones, right? Yes, and that also brings your elbows into position. You wanna guard your ribs, right? So this, you want a tight guard, all right? And I'm right here. Usually you're off your, your heel and then you have a slight bounce. So I'm right here. And your stance should be comfortable, right? It's not stiff. I don't wanna be here like this and stuck, right? It takes more energy and you're very predictable. Because if you're fighting someone and they're straight out like this, the moment the hand moves, you know that something's coming, right? So everything in this stance moves, right? My hands move, my head moves, I bounce around a little bit, I'm shifting. So it's a very fluid, comfortable position, right? So you have to make it work for you. Again, depending on how tall you are or whatnot, it's always a little different. The one thing I will say, bring this leg a little bit more out here. Yeah. And slight bend to your knees, yep. Not too much, just a little bit, right? That's it. And now here, you know, the bounce is just shifting your weight from the lead leg to the rear leg, right? Exactly. I'm a little stiff right now, for sure. Oh, don't worry. Uh, I was much more stiff than you were, trust me, <laughs> right? So you, you just gotta get used to it in the beginning, right? Like, and when we do shadow boxing later, you'll feel goofy, you'll be self-conscious, but a after a while you get over it, and then anytime you watch UFC, you'll be on your feet, and you'll, <laughs> and you'll be doing this thing. <laughs> Right? So if I'm facing you here and we just mimic, I'm just like this, right? Boom. And if we have an opponent, the best place to look, just open gaze in the middle of the chest. So we don't want to lock eyes because then we can't see his feet. We don't see his hands well, but open stare at the chest. I could see his hands very well and I could also see his legs, right? So I, I can know whenever, whenever anything's gonna happen. Boom. And Besides my hands, you're doing good there. Also get used to moving your head a little bit, exactly. Because if your head stays in one place, I know exactly where to fire. You know, so every so often we move around and just by rotating my hips, my head moves, right? Like if you watch here and you look at my head, boom, boom, boom. Bend a little bit, move, right? So when we combine, see I can shift my weight and my head moves, right? Yeah, and you could bring that rear leg a little bit closer to you, right? So there's different stances for different sports. Boxing is very staggered. Yeah, yeah, so boxing's further out, right? So then this works for them because it gives me more reach, right? It, it makes my body a smaller target, right? Because there's less of it to see versus here, right? Where I'm a big body target. So for boxing, this is good. The only problem is that you can't defend kicks. Right, because I'm here, bam, I can blast you here. And you're, because your legs are too far apart. So in MMA, typically the stance is a little bit closer together because when I'm like this, I can pick up either leg to defend and I can fire my kicks, I can turn into them. So our MMA stance is a little bit more square. Yeah. That's, that's good right there. And, and just this foot, you see this big toe here? I want your heel to be here. So step, yeah, there you go. So this gives you a little bit more lateral stability, right, exactly. So this is kind of in between what a boxing stance is and Muay Thai. Muay Thai, the Thai kickboxing, mm -hmm. they stand very square. They're like this right here. So they have big body targets, but they wanna throw big kicks, right? So MMA, we have to compromise. We're kind of in the middle. So we're not super narrow like boxing, but we're not super square like Muay Thai. We're, 45, and this gives us access to all of our weapons, all right? So our basic stance right there. Now, and posture-wise, you can stay a little tall, yeah. Chin down, shoulders relaxed, 
right? The last thing you want to do is like hunch up like this, because you know you're gonna get tired really fast, right? So you want to be loose, right? And as we start doing our strikes, power comes from being loose. If you're, that's why bodybuilders are, are absolutely garbage for striking. They're too tight. They can't generate any power. And most power is generated by being loose, like a whip. Right? It's got to be loose, and then you crack, return. If you're, if you're trying to throw a hard punch like, like this, it's very weak. Right? So everything about us when we're here is nice and loose, fluid, exactly. And just move around. Yep. And keep those hands high. Yep. Tucked in. We don't want to do any Mayweather stuff just yet. All right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, watch it. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do the Philly show. I'm like, that's going to get you in trouble early on. There you go. Good. Move your head a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it, don't worry. This takes a lot of time to get used to. Right? This is very foreign yes. to your instincts, you know? Now, well, since we're moving, we'll talk a little bit how we move when we're fighting. Okay, so one of the main things when I'm here is the, there's, there's a few ways to move. We're just going to cover two. One is the short, staggered steps. And basically, whichever leg is closest into the direction I'm going to move, steps first. So if I'm going to go forward or left, left leg steps, right leg trails. If I'm going to go to the right or behind me, right leg steps here. Right? So this is not a fast way of moving, but it keeps me square and my stance stays solid. The, the main thing we're avoiding here is this. You cross over. You're off balance. And at any point you get hit here, you're going down. Right? So we want to keep our legs under me. You know, so I can move here, here, boom. Right? We're not moving for speed here. We're moving for balance. Yep. Exactly. That's it. And this is pretty natural for the most part. You know, this is how you're going to want to move anyways. So as you're doing this, return that fluid motion now that you had earlier, and you can still move that same way. Boom, right? Good, good. And hands a little higher and tighter. Yep. A good habit you can develop is getting, touching your cheek every so often. Right? Like you'll see fighters do that quite a bit. Because the tendency is your hands are going to want to drop. Because just staying up here for a while gets your shoulders fatigued. And as your shoulders fatigue, they start to come down here. So like even when you're fighting, you'll hear corners always saying, hands up, hands up. So like a good attitude to have, a habit rather, is I'm here, just touch my cheeks every so often. If I'm touching my cheekbones, then I know, okay, my hands are high enough here. Sometimes people were out like this, but this hand's not blocking anything right now, right? And so I can get tagged right here. So having my hands close here helps protect you. Good, good. Yeah, and try to keep that right foot. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Yeah, a little bit wider out. Yeah. Good. So, for example, what we'll do here, you'll get back in stance. And I want you to maintain this distance that we have here. And I'm just going to move. And you're just going to move along with me. All right, so if I'm here, if I'm moving into you, back up, back up. Exactly. You can circle here. You can pressure into me, right? I'm back. Good. All right. Yeah, no, it's going to happen. That's fine. So, basic way of moving. Now, another step that you can do, particularly if you need to evade faster because this doesn't move quickly, is what they call a pendulum step. All right. And a pendulum step is basically I'm bringing my feet together. And it's almost like as one foot hits, the other one moves, right? So, so here, particularly for circling, it gets you around really quick, right? You kind of think like if there's a, a dude charging you, right? Like for example, if you rush me here, boom, right? I can get out of the way quickly, right? So bringing my feet together, stepping out. My feet still don't cross, right? But I'm still moving quick. Exactly. And you just keep that motion going, right? So, so, for example, if we just go completely sideways, 
Forget about fighting for a second. Right? Exactly. So now, you get in your fight stance, you're doing the same thing. So if you're gonna go this way, exactly, you went that way, yes. Now, more commonly, when you're fighting, we like circling, right? So you'll do the same thing when you pendulum, but you just angle, yeah, right? So, for example, if I'm here and I go to move in, yep, and what that does it, it gives you an angle to strike now. Because if you rush me right now, and I just move here, I'm not facing you, right? I have accomplished nothing except get away from you. But again, if you rush, I have angle, you don't, you're facing here, boom! Right, so it's always preferred when possible to be able to circle to evade people. Because you're getting away from them and you're gonna have an angle to attack. All right, so again, if we still do that same movement pattern, right? We just follow a little bit. Now I move in, and you're just gonna circle out. Boom, right. If I go this way, boom, good. And you could stay even closer to me so that you're still within like touching range, okay. right? So example, I can come here, yeah, right? Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> it's fighting, baby. You're going to get hit at some point, right? Opa. Excellent. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be alerted when the next video drops. Now, if you want to get more videos like this on a daily basis, go and visit my membership site at ffbaycoach.com. We have online video curriculums our daily videos, and you can get bonus courses like the Kimura Trap System for free when you enroll today. So go ahead and help support the channel and visit today.